The first private astronaut mission to the International Space Station is set to launch on Friday. The mission will be crewed by one retired astronaut and three wealthy entrepreneurs. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will dock on the ISS for eight days while crew members carry out experiments. Kubra Koch reports. These men have each reportedly paid $55 million to become the first fully private crew to dock at the International Space Station. NASA has partnered with Houston-based startup Axiom Space for the historic launch. This is a very historic moment uh, and I think is the beginning of many beginnings for uh, commercializing low Earth orbit. The three private crew members will be joined by mission commander Michael Lopez Alegria, a former NASA astronaut and Axiom's vice president. During his 20-year career at NASA, he flew to space four times and performed 10 spacewalks, the most by any astronaut. He is set to become the first in history to lead both civil and commercial space flights. He is joined by technology entrepreneur Larry Connor, who is the pilot for the mission. While investors Mark Pathy and Eitan Stippe will serve as specialists. How this differs from other private flights is the crew has received hundreds of hours of training to stay eight days in space to carry out biomedical research. Other space tourists, like billionaires Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, spent 10 to 15 hours training for 10 minutes in space. First launched in orbit in 1998, the ISS has been busy since then, operated by a U.S.-Russian-led partnership. NASA has opened up the station for commercial activities, including private astronaut missions, to build a competitive economy in low Earth orbit. NASA's goal is to create a marketplace in space led by the private sector, in which the agency is one of the customers. We're like early days of Internet, and we haven't even imagined all the possibilities, all the capabilities that we're going to be providing uh, in space. Axiom is set to launch its own space station in 2024, which will eventually replace the ISS when it is retired and deorbited in eight years. And if all goes well with this mission, actor Tom Cruise is set to be aboard a future Axiom spaceflight to shoot film scenes for a new movie. Kubra Akkoc, TRT World. For more on this, let's bring in astronaut in training, Per Wimmer. He joins me now from London. Uh, per, good to speak to you about this. Why is this mission significant? What do commercial flights into space actually look to achieve? It's very significant because it's the first time you have a, a sort of purely commercial flight going to the International Space Station. So it is a natural evolution uh, all the way back to the very first private space flight uh, where Dennis Tito in 2001 went up into space. I was actually on the launch pad there literally 10 minutes before Dennis took off uh, on the Soyuz rocket in Kazakhstan. So we've come a long way, uh, 2022, and, and now we're set we can do this alone, purely commercial to the International Space Station. But it's also reflection of what's going on in space. Uh, we've seen a massive amount of capital going into the sector. Last year, about $15 billion of private capital going into the space sector, which is roughly the equivalent of the NASA budget. So very, very significant changes. And I think the private sector has a lot to bring to the exploration and further research and development within space. Yeah, that's a lot of money that's going into that type of uh, development. These, this team that's going up uh, hopefully today, what will they actually be doing on the ISS? Uh, yeah, interesting enough, they will be doing some uh, research, uh, uh, particularly on how the brain evolves in space, what, what it does and how it functions and what's different to having a human brain in space versus on planet Earth. And they'll also be sorting, uh, supporting one of the um, uh, uh, ch a charity in honor of uh, Ilan Ramon, who was uh, unfortunately a casualty when uh, the Columbia Space Shuttle um, fell down in 2003. So there's also a bit of history back to NASA and back to that terrible accident uh, where all the astronauts unfortunately uh, died. Um, but so there'll be support and memory of that, respect for the history, as well as looking forward with some new brain research, uh, which, which hopefully will further um, our efforts on medical science here on planet Earth. And that is what space can do. It can improve medical science, it can improve telecom, uh, internet with the Starlink system that Elon Musk has got going on. We can do a lot in space uh, because space is difficult and it helps solve problems on planet Earth. 
during the Apollo program, um, that, that is uh, the whole expenditure of the Apollo program ended up effectively creating Silicon Valley and look what that has taken us in terms of technology. So space is very, very important for, from an R&D perspective. I'd love to chat some more, but we've run out of time. Per Rimmer, thank you so much for talking to us about the importance of this mission set to launch on Friday. Thanks, Per.